guys welcome back I uh, hope you guys are doing well today uh, we're gonna work a little bit in here and excuse me adding pockets as I said I have the uh, all my items here fussy cut out with dogs and cats and everything um See, I think I want a doggy pocket here, like that, but I want to uh, back it onto some book page, I think, just to make it a little stronger, because uh, uh, some of these images are uh, just a little bit. Uh, flimsy. I'm probably not going to do a whole bunch of pages or anything, and I'm not going to do a whole lot of decorating. I mainly just want pockets in here, uh, so that I can add my cards and tags and whatnot. Would have worked a lot better had I left it to dry. It's all right. You can tell that it's a pocket. All right. Art glitter glue here. So you guys working on anything good lately? Um, I haven't really been working on much, just been resting mainly. Okay. I think I want a kitty cat. I think I'm gonna turn it into a tuck spot though. And that one's a pretty good thickness, so I think it'll be alright. Just like it is. Kind of alternating the puppies and the kitties in here. Okay. Um, this reminds me of my Pikachu. She's half Jack Russell, half Lab, but she's got little uh, freckles all over her belly, little black freckles because of the lab in her. I think I might turn that into a little tuck spot too. She loves her food though, that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> that would be more like a side tuck pocket. 
Well, I could glue it down on three sides and then not put a pull in there so it'd be something big could be put on there. I think that's what I'll do. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Like I said, it's, it's just for myself to hold my, you know, notes and little cards and stuff from Happy Meal. Um, but I do want to do some more mixed media stuff. And uh, I do know that my next video, um, I will be making tickets, but I don't want to make small ones. And I don't want to make the really large ones. That's all I've ever seen. I want to make like medium sized tickets. Um, so I figured they would have a good use because they can fit in pockets and whatnot. And uh, let's see, I need a doggy image. Does not cut very well. There we go. Let's see. But I kind of want to do a mixed media and then put like a focal point on them. I think that's what we'll end up doing. I also want to do some more jelly plate printing. Because uh, I'd like to try to do the ones, you know, where you let the layers dry in between and then pull off the, the final layer. It's kind of what I would like to do. There's a doggy. Um... See, I got some fussy cut doggies. I don't know if I'll use them on this journal or not. Oh, those are good size. I could do that as a little tuck spot. That's cute. Okay. Well, that's a chunky cat. Oh, speaking of cat, I hear my Sam outside the door okay I don't think I'm gonna put a pull in this one I think I'll just leave it like it is glue it on like a regular pocket Trying to kind of vary the size of them a little bit. Okay. I think we'll do a couple of more and then um, leave it there for now because I don't know what else I want to put in there. I've got to couple more little fussy cuts there. Kind of like this little family here. Um, don't want to put any at the top though. I can make a tuck spot from the top. I think that's what I will do. Um, well if I do Yeah, I can still tuck it at the top, though. That'd be fine. Because I actually did that wrong. But I'll just put it at the bottom. Because I did that one wrong. Wrong direction. That's okay. So I can do this one. This one from the top. That's the right direction. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Alright. My 
mom must be home. So let me move the little fussy cut ones out of the way. I might do that one as a pocket there. That's cute. Little basset hound and a looks like a well there might be two basset hounds actually. Um two types of basset hounds. That's half of our Leary. She's half black lab and half basset. So she looks like this one except she's solid black. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll make this a side pocket. give me pretty decent pocket space right there. Okay. a few pages left to do. I guess I could uh, do it halfway and then stop from there and then we can finish the other half later on. Um, okay. Let me see here. over here. Dog. I have more cat images than dog images. Whatever I don't use I'll save for uh, something else. Like maybe another journal or something. Hairy dog. Yeah, that'll work. For that one. And I think Rhoda said she had something to send me for the journal as well, which I can always add later on. I got a couple of these like larger cat images that I can glue to make a top pocket. I think that will be fine. say 
that I know anything different or anything other than usual. I do know we have a couple of other challenges or, yes, that collabs that I'll be part of uh, in uh, June and July. So I'm pretty excited for those. Weenie dogs. That's what part of Boo is. He's a uh, part weenie dog, uh, or dachshund, uh, part chihuahua, part terrier, and part poodle. And, um, if you wonder what that looks like, he looks like a miniature German Shepherd. Because we always get asked if he has German Shepherd in him, and the answer is no. He has no German Shepherd in him at all. Uh, he's very kind of skittish and nervous, like a chihuahua. Um, but he he won't wear a sweater or anything even when he's cold. Uh -uh, he refuses. Can't get that boy to wear a sweater. Scooter, on the other hand, is chihuahua. And he loves his little sweaters. He loves them in the wintertime. In summertime, not so much. He'd rather be naked. But he does wear sweaters in the wintertime because he is like me and he will freeze. Mm, this reminds me of my Sammy. Little tabby cat. Uh, except her ears aren't quite as pointy. But if she would let me dress her up, that's probably what she would dress up in. Uh, Crowley is pretty much the only one that will let you dress him up and he won't leave the stuff on for very long but he pretty much doesn't care what you do to him as long as you're paying attention to him he's pretty pretty affectionate well they're all affectionate to us but not to uh, everyone else now Sammy pretty much loves everybody in the house and Crowley loves everyone in the house. Dexter is a Grammy's boy. That boy loves his... That's me. He loves Grandma. Because Grandma is the one that feeds him. And he never hesitates to let Grandma know when it's dinner time. Or breakfast time. <clears throat> oh. I think I gotta put the little bow dogs on there though, they're cute. Little bulldog puppies. I'll put that on as a tuck spot. I think. Alright, now couple more pages and we'll be at the halfway point. Okay. Uh, do I want another big one? Yeah, I think I do. I think I'm going to put it in a U shape also. I just love these images. Thank you again, Mom, for sending these to me. And by Mom, I mean Miss Matilda. She is my adopted mommy. And I've got so many people in Miss P's group that I consider family. I feel like Kian and Janya are like sisters to me. And uh, Laura and Rhoda are also like sisters to me. Uh, those are cat images. Okay. Whoops. I've got this little dude here. I think about might put him on as a tuck spot too. He just looks like he ain't having it. I don't know. <laughs> it just doesn't look too amused. Probably because he just has to wear that weird looking collar. He probably wasn't too happy about that. Alright. 
Now, we'll do one more over here. Um, do I want to put that on? This way, maybe. That's a large pocket this way. Yeah, I think we will. Okay. dog I could put him up here just to put him up there and then put a pocket on little Boston Terrier we had a Boston Terrier when I was a kid and then my uncle later adopted a Boston Terrier from well the vet had him and called my uncle and asked if he wanted him and he had him for a long long time chance cute little baby who passed away from old age uh, he got to where he was blind and whatnot Abu is blind partially blind and partially deaf but open a food can near him or whatever and that boy will come running just like he's a pup he loves his food oh He's a good boy, though. We call him our old man. A little pug. There's Fox Terrier. Which kind of looks like Pikachu, too. So, I mean, she could have some Fox Terrier in her as well. We are now halfway through, so when we get back to working on it, we'll just finish the other half, and uh, then I'll probably, um, you know, put some sort of closure on it or tie it up with a ribbon or something, because uh, I'm sure it'll get chunky by the time I put all my cards and stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, that is it for now. And when we come back, we'll work on those medium-sized mixed-media tickets. And then I think it'll be Kyung's time then to do her part of the challenge. The Think Outside the Box challenge. Which will be on the 8th. So, that actually might be my next video after doing the tickets. Um, and then... Uh, We'll work on uh, this again. Well, I can't even finish the thought today. My brain is not with it. Alright, I'm just trying to clean up a little as I go so I don't have so much stuff to, excuse me, in the way. Alright guys, so I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys back here again really soon. Bye!